said it him, I said it's me, I said it, so I said to your neighbor, not me. Yeah, me, me. It should be your neighbor. Just say, mm. Mm. Hallelujah. I'd like to thank Pastor Steve one more time. Thank you for this wonderful opportunity. And uh, I still love the way I sound, sir. The sound has not changed. Beautiful sound. The choir is still intact. It's only that I noticed that there are two more added, you know. It was seven last week. Um, I counted, you know, nine, nine today. Nine. September stands for nine. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Because I have ten minutes, I have a challenge. Ten minutes is too short for everything, but God will give me the grace to compress all. Amen. Amen. Just say to your neighbor, say, Welcome to church. Welcome. See my picture there. See, see what Jesus has done for me. Amen. Amen. I, I looked at myself in the mirror today and uh, calculating my age, I said, It is well. Lord, I'm supposed to look older as I progress in age, but I'm looking younger. I'm almost 40 and I'm looking younger. If you see my picture, when I was younger, <laughs> my picture when I was younger, when I was, you know, I, I, am, I am an old, you know, a former alumnus <laughs> of the Institute of Poverty. <laughs> So I know where Jesus brought me from. I know where he brought me from. That's why I said I'm a testifier. I'm not a comedian. Well, people say what I say is funny, it's good. I started gospel comedy 16 years ago in Nigeria. There was nothing like that. When I started, people laughed at us, laughed at me. Eh? So what? So, this is 16 years after, virtually every church. Virtually every church invites comedians. And, you know, from poverty, God brought me out of poverty. Uh, you heard of poverty, but you don't know what it is. You've only heard. I've heard of poverty. I've seen poverty. I've done po collabo. I've collaborated with poverty. In economics, you know, when, when I, I don't know, poverty, we, we, we were on the same level. Poverty. I come from the northern part of the north. And as I've said it before, I always say that I understand my roots, I know where God took me from. The northern part of the north is dangerous. It is not the conventional northern part. Northern part of the north in Nigeria, a place called Nigeria, in Africa. I won't tell you the specifics so that you don't know where exactly. You can't find where I come from on the map. <laughs> Google has given up on our case. Our parents did not know Jesus Christ. What you don't have, you can't give. So what they had was what they gave us. When you don't know Christ, you will remain in crisis. So it was crisis, you know. If the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? We were not righteous. Our foundation was faulty. So everything worked against us. But they knew the scriptures. They started in Genesis and they ended there in Genesis. <laughs> when the Bible says we should multiply. <laughs> multiply. That was the only scripture my parents knew. That was their hobby. Ladies and gentlemen, they multiplied. That was their own equity contribution to, 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 to mankind. Ah, they gave back to us. That was their hobby. They were new. They, 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 were, they, they, they were not new, but they were, you know, everything about them was childbirth. Whenever you saw them like this, you would see productivity. <laughs> There was no family plan. No. It was planned family. They planned it. It was intentional. And because of that, no resources, nothing. Poverty almost finished us. We do almost finish poverty. We, we, we took it to a level where we took it out of this world. Poverty and us. We were, we were, we were intertwined. One night, my siblings and I, they gave birth to 12, 12, 12 of us, 12, and they were planning to give birth to mom. And there was no space Till now, there's no respect. The first and the last are like, we, we, there's no respect. It's survival of the, of, 
of the fittest, of the strongest, of, of the most violent, the violent ticket ever. We have been in line with that scripture since we were young. We're dangerous. Dangerous. Everybody like this, the same material of clothing, everything the same hairstyle. Sorry, not hairstyle, hairstyle. <laughs> we didn't used to have haircut, it was head cut. Head cut. My father was the barber who shaved. It was one way traffic. Shaved the whole thing. Okay, and then we then he said, sit down here while you don't cut me. Then you then then you see everybody's individual talent to be exposed by virtue of the number and strategic like that upon the head. But you want for those who are not, if you're American, you understand what lack fat lack fat is. There's no English word for it. Maybe you call it lapper. Lapper. It's a bad sign to be shown in a family. A member of a family has lack fat lack in our own case, it was everybody. So it was, it was, there was a bad network in our family. <laughs> so they were planning to give birth to mom. After 12, we woke up at night. We warned them. There was no light, so they couldn't see our face. We warned them. Babana, mamana. Why not? If you want any other begin for this family, everybody then then. Try it. Try it. Try it. <laughs> so the last one then. It's still the last one now. <laughs> they dare not. They dare not. Numbers matter in every situation. Countries, families, and everything. Numbers matter. Amen. The same way the whole world respects China for their population. Everybody respected our family for our population. We were a dangerous group. Amen. So they stopped then. I give God all the glory. They stopped them and everything. But poverty almost finished us. The poor recognized my father in the Institute of Poverty. They said, Kai Baba Mana, this is your poverty. Teach us, mentor. <laughs> if my father was still alive, he's late now, he was still alive, and he decided to mentor a Bill Gates. In two months, Bill Gates will be effectively poor. <laughs> Thank God he left when he left. Though we miss him, but you know, eventually you have to. He, he, he was a sacrifice. Do you know, till now, nobody's dead in our family. Apart from my dad. My mom is, uh, my dad is late. My mom is early. <laughs> and we're all intact. Not because, oh yes, the Lord helped us, but there's a level poverty takes you to. We were so poor. There's a level poverty takes you to. That even death will postpone your case. <laughs> no, no, no. Death. Death will say, no, 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 leave this one. Go in the West. Go in the West. <laughs> but that's for those who don't have Christ in the US. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Today, Jesus has changed everything. Jesus has changed everything. When I look younger, I look older. I'm getting older. I should look older. But I, my wife had to beg me to start living uh, this. It's, you know, it's called divine packaging on my head. Because I look like a boy. Every year, I look like a boy. Then I look at my children and I say, Ah, I'm happy for you. I'm happy for you. I have three children. Three children, a girl and two boys. The first one will be 10 this month. Amen. 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 Yes, we've been married for 11 years. My wife took a risk while others were running away from me. <laughs> for obvious reasons. The Lord opened our spiritual eyes. That is the future that matters, not the present. Yes. God is the one who determines how far we go in life. Yes. But I didn't know. They told me from a young age that I would do well, I would end up in the north and everything. The north, the north. That's why the north is dangerous. <laughs> dangerous. They've been calling me, they say, Kai, man, you know they'll come back. You know they'll come in north. Everybody wants to see you for not. Kai, you send money, we appreciate it, but we want to see you. I said, no, I don't want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> See, everybody's angry. I say, let them be angry. I said, okay, I'm living in Lagos. That was the last time I had this discussion. I said, I'm living in Lagos. I said, Lagos, the traffic in Lagos can kill you. I said, sir, if the traffic will kill me, I prefer to die in Lagos. <laughs> because where we used to stay in the north, to help us, is 39 bike. <laughs> From our place to help us, that's the heat. We were always on fire for Jesus. 
Amen. Amen. So I look at my children. I look at my children. Because when we were growing up, they allow the children. It's, 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 it's. Let them, let them. You see, that's another weakness. Eh? <laughs> I look at my children in the morning. In the morning. Sometimes we are, we are, we are, we are, you know, we are distracted. We don't know what to give them. This one says he wants Cheerios. This one says he wants um, Frosties. The other one says he wants um, um, something I've forgotten. It's, it has different colors. You know, I knew in America, help me. You know, three of them, different like that. And their mom and I will be sorting out their breakfast and I'm looking at them. Sometimes they say, no, I don't feel like eating. <laughs> uh, They said they want to make sandwich, you know, bread, cheese, and all of that. They put it together after two bites. I said, Where's your pizza? I trashed it. <laughs> ha! You trashed it. <laughs> Take me to the trash. Where you trash? <laughs> you trash for? You are wasting heavenly resources. You don't know what Jesus has done for you. You don't know what I have done for you as a father. Take me there. Let me see. <laughs> Amen. We used to have breakfast in those days. Breakfast. Breakfast. Fast. That will break you down. <laughs> and whenever we had the luxury of having breakfast, breakfast, you know, and I'm just referring to my children's situation compared to how we were when we were growing up. You say you don't want to eat. We don't. We, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like eating. You know, they are becoming American, eating. <laughs> the complexion and all of that. And I look at them once in a while. I go to my closet and I shed tears and I, I in appreciation of what God has done. They wrote me off. I wrote myself too off. I didn't believe I would become anything. Yes, they wrote me off. The one you write off today hmm, could end up writing you a check in the future. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. In the morning, the breakfast. My mom would have been a very hardworking woman. May God bless her. She's in Nigeria now. God will bless her in Jesus' name. She's the reason why I'm this responsible. <laughs> but she molded me very strict in the midst of poverty. I don't think there's anybody who's as responsible as I am here. Because the responsibility came with poverty. <laughs> you could not argue it. In the morning, she would have cooked it down. Cooked it. Cooked it. If you're wondering what do I mean by it? <laughs> ah, it's an it. It's an entity. <laughs> they don't serve you. You are not served breakfast. You go there, it's buffet. <laughs> the cups are big. Almost as big as yourself because we have told me, you know, we hold the cup like this. If you, are, if you don't have stamina, the cup will almost, you know, take your balance, but you must. This morning, now I need to my children. Please eat. In those days, my mother will ask me, you don't finish, you don't talk. It's not optional, you don't say you don't want. No, you must. So when you go there, they give you your pickup. It's a boo buffet. <laughs> buffet is like a Yoruba word. Boo buffet. <laughs> Amen. It was Ogi. Everybody said to your neighbor, say Ogi. Ah. Ogi. Ogi is not bad. When, when it's excessive, it can slow destiny down. <laughs> Ogi. <laughs> Ogi. So we we'll go with the buffet. When, when you are done with your cup like this, you'd have been transfigured. <laughs> you, you become fearless. You'll you be walking like someone who's drunk. No wonder we didn't do an academic that we get washed down our 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 because Dangerous. Dangerous. Ogi has an English name. Pa. All the Ogi, my children's children. My children's children who take in their lives. I'm taking it on their ground. The Bible says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children. In my own case, a good man drank an inheritance for his children's children. Ogi has an English name, it's called Pap. We drank Pap till we became perplexed. <laughs> but today we give Jesus all the glory. See the way I look. 
blazers, suits. I look suitable. <laughs> In those days, I was not suitable. If you hear young people say, hey, this is talk about suits, talk about it. It's when I got Jedi will be here. Jedi and I. Jedi was there when I started. A year after I started. You will see pictures. See this, believe it. You will know that Jesus indeed has brought me out. If you could do my own case, then your case is chicken change. You don't know what. You don't know what you're doing. You, you don't have issues here. If you are here and you say you're complaining, may the Lord not get angry. That's ingratitude. Thank Him. You are here in America. Ah, thank Jesus. In those days, I tried everything. It did not work. And that's why it's very important to understand what God has created you for. So that you don't waste your time. Amen. I was a guard. I was a paper seller, I was a sweet seller, I was a, I, on duty when I was a guard, they came to rob on that day. So that was a bad sign. So I was arrested eventually. The robbers escaped. That was not the will of God for me. Amen. So eventually they said, oh, comedy is good, you are funny, this and that. So I went to buy what they said that you start wearing. They say, if you are going to have a good career, you have to start wearing coat. So I went to buy this thing called coat. Everybody said coat. The difference between coat and what I'm wearing, see what pastors wearing, see what other people are wearing, suits here. Yeah? In those days, those coats, I used to start my career. Amen. I went to buy it and I didn't have money. So I saw the book he was selling it to say, Hi, what do you want? I said, they say I better wear a coat. He said, No problem, wait, I'm going to get your son. So he went and came back. When he wore this thing on me, I didn't wear it. You don't wear coat, you enter coat. <laughs> Coat is like accommodation. <laughs> you enter it and they start looking for you. Hi, mother, where are you? Coat takes destiny, it seizes it, it abducts destiny. Amen. Whenever I wore the coat, whenever, sorry, whenever I entered the coat, people around, you know, you remember people down there, ah, I will not see a party people. Who are the organizers of this party? Because the coat looks like canopy. How about my destiny? People thought I was proud. In our area, whenever I was walking, it was not it was not pride. The, the, the coat, you know, the, the shoulders start from somewhere there, and, and I'll be at the middle, middle of crisis. Amen. Ah, when the Bible talks about the armor, the armor, mine was worse than an armor. Armor. I was any, any time I was walking like this, they say, ah, it's pride, it's pride, it's not pride. It was the weight of the coat that was slowing down my chest. But thank Jesus. Things are different. Italian suits, it's deliberate. Italian suits, shoes, everything it is deliberate. If you have suffered enough, you should enjoy enough. Amen. <laughs> and I've never started it. I've not started. Amen. Because I know that with God all things are possible. And Psalm 24 says, The earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. Everybody. The earth, the Lord, the fallen ground, the world, and they that dwell there in life includes everybody in Nigeria, in Afghanistan, everywhere. Jesus owns everything. Man, even in Nigeria, where your son is operating, it's, it's not a conventional Nigeria, I hope you know. It's like an expatriate. In life. For people to have been flown in to come and conduct an interview, no, it's usually not done that way. You go there, you are the one who needs something. You go there. But in this case, they brought him, brought them to. I have favored one. Till the Lord comes back for you in about 50 something years or 70 or 60 years, depending on your negotiating power. <laughs> I don't know how many years you have signed with him, but you know, till he comes back, don't ever complain, man. Jesus has helped you. You don't know what he has done for you. I know what I'm talking about. I've trekked on earth in heaven. They've known somebody trekked. <laughs> you trek like this, eh? you trek. You trek. Till I go back to meet Jesus, I won't need to go to the gym. I've gone to the gym in advance. I've punched all the fat. I tread like this. Many, many times. I'll be hoping that if I see that, I open it, I hope that there'll be money. I never saw free money in my life. If Jesus doesn't give you, you can't have it. Except you do otherwise, and it does not last. Because that's what they call an equity contribution. It's non-refundable. That's what the devil does. Amen. Uh, you talk about artists. I know some artists too. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm threat, threat. 
track. I was so used to tracking. My shoes too were used to tracking. You take the shoes off, they will continue tracking. You need to, you need to call the shoes back. Now, understand times and seasons. The season for checking has started. I've, I've come through a lot of things. 10 minutes, I've, I've used 10 minutes of what's I, I, I like singing. I just singing. Thanksgiving, giving glory to God, thanking God every time should be the lifestyle of every Christian who appreciates what God has done or is doing or will do. But the just shall live by faith, you know, so in, you know, for what is coming, thank God. But you see, what you are singing should also be clearly understood so that you don't sing off the Lord's favor. Eh? You hear, we house our people, I don't know, there's no house of person here. You notice that there's no house of person who has done that. Okay, 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 so well. Okay, I have a test. Okay, then I'll reduce what I want to do. <laughs> you two, sir. Yeah, yeah, dude. Okay, so now I have one here, I have one here. That means, the Bible says wisdom is profitable. <laughs> I don't know. Have you heard any house uh, person do well the music about from Dan Mariah just <laughs> a pleasant memory? who I believe took all the virtue of the Hausa people who were meant to make it in life and used all during his lifetime. So Hausa people, you know, when we say me in Hausa, we mean you sometimes. So it affects our songs. You hear songs like that. Uh, I don't know. Um, I still don't know my key. Which one is this? Which key? F? Okay. He said, he said F. Uh, F. The pronunciation of F should be F, but in Hausa say F. So, so key word is give me a F or, or help sharp. Anything that is sharp is good. Amen. We need a blunt life in the first place. <laughs> Hallelujah. You hear people saying, uh, and people are tribalistic. It is not good. That's part of what's affecting the world. We should not be seen by the color of our skin. No. We are all together. Amen. Amen. White, black, brown, everybody, Hispanic, everybody. Amen. Amen. People are tribalistic. They believe God is from their own place. Whereas God owns everything. Yet people say, you are the house of <laughs> and the We want you are to be. Now the song is good. The voice is good, everything. But what is the voice? It's not Hausa. So you are Hausa. Then you hear something like, uh, I'm talking about Hausa singer. Yeah. I will boy, I know be mine. And me and you come to I will boy, I know be mine. Everybody say, He knows the tire. Isn't that blasphemy? You hear another one, you hear? Highest, 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 that is my name. If I continue, we will live here. Thank you very much. Amen. One more thing before I leave. Usually where I come from, Africa, Africa loves music. They follow people with a lot too is uh, juju and jazz, you know. <laughs> Not music, music, but you know, spirituality, they follow people with juju and jazz. Only Jesus saves us, you know. I've gone through a lot of battles and everything. I give God all the glory. So when now in Africa, in America, I ask people, don't follow me with juju and jazz. Thank God, it has reduced yet. But back home, I can't say this, you know. Don't let this go to me. Don't let it be online so that I'll still be online with my destiny. <laughs> but you can follow me, follow me, follow me on Twitter at Holy Man. Follow me on Instagram, follow me, where else? <laughs> Facebook, yes, follow me. Tutu and Jazz followership. I don't like this, that's destroying the environment. 
today we give God all the glory. Thank you, sir, for this wonderful opportunity. My prayer is that, is that God, because God can do all things, all things. I've always wanted this kind of height, sir. <laughs> join your faith with mine. Join, join yours with his, with mine. And with one voice, like they did when they almost built the Tower of Babel. Father, affect my look at my height upward. So that people will say, this is the height of it. Amen. God bless you.